We continue to watch what is going on in Quebec with the hearings over the contentious legislation that would ban police, teachers, and various other public sector employees from wearing religious symbols at work. Since the Quebec government introduced that legislation in late March, Muslim women who wear a hijab or a niqab tell an advocacy group that they are experiencing a sharp increase in harassment, even violence, in public. Jay Turnbull has one woman's story today. Fatima Ahmed was heading to the metro when, she says, a man assaulted her out of the blue. He came towards me and he took his hand out and then he hit me with his hand on my chest and then he pulled my niqab. Ahmed says the man wasn't able to completely remove her niqab. She says he ran off. Ahmed says she was shocked but had the wherewithal to follow him. He wanted to get the bus so he ran around, um, around and came back to the, to the street. But when he was coming, uh, there were cars coming in, so he was almost hit by a car. So then when he came here, he was kind of like frozen. She snapped a picture and shot a video with her cell phone. She says she's borne the brunt of Islamophobic attacks in the past, mostly verbal, but this is the second time someone tried to remove her kneecap. It's so difficult to come outside. I always have to think twice before I go outside. Yesterday be as well, before I left the house, I was, I was making my prayers. I was, you know, I always feel not safe enough, but I have to go out, so I have no option. Groups monitoring similar assaults say the number of incidents is on the rise, thanks in large part to the debate surrounding the government's proposed Bill 21. People are having a free season uh, open season on the Muslims, and especially uh, Muslim women who identify with their outfits, or their what, what they wear, like the hijab or the niqab, or, you know, they're, they're the targets. Police won't speak specifically about this case, but confirm the hate crimes unit is investigating an incident that happened at the Metro. Jay Turnbull, CBC News, Montreal.